The CDC recommends vaccinations for children despite what it calls misconceptions about the safety associated with them. And we take a look at some of those in this week's medical moment. So I think the biggest misconception that I've heard about vaccination is, you know, its relationship with autism. And guess what? There is none. The person who suggested this has largely been discredited from all scientific societies. His study included 12 children only to link between immunizations and autism. So there is no link. Um, and CDC came out with a very large study in 2013, which sort of entirely eliminates that. So. In fact, Dr. Abhi Singh of Spectrum Health says vaccinations are safer than ever before. One example I'll give you is the smallpox vaccine, the first vaccine, one of the first vaccines that was created. Um, it had about 113 antigen. Now we use about one antigen per vaccine. So we have largely reduced the number of antigens that we're exposing you to. But his biggest concern is what would happen if more families elected to stop vaccinating. If everyone stopped getting uh, vaccinations, you will definitely see an uptick of diseases that we have eradicated, you know, a long time ago. So things like polio that you don't see anymore, things like diphtheria, things like whooping cough, things that you don't see anymore will come back. People who are not able to mount an immune response, such as people who are on cancer medications or are ill, will suffer the most because they have no immunity. Dr. Singh says a 95% vaccination rate is the goal of most medical experts. You see this simulation here of a measles outbreak, assuming school-age children are at that 95% vaccination rate. You can see what's known as herd immunity remains intact, thus keeping the measles from spreading. But in the second simulation for Grand Rapids, with the vaccination rates down to just 80% of all school-age children, the measles spreads across town when that herd immunity is lost. I think the, the common fears usually originates from people being misinformed. So I think the best thing to do is to look at websites like CDC and AAP to, to get all the information that you need and um, talking to your doctor about, you know, what concerns you have. And for more information on vaccinations, you can go to the website or call the phone number right there on your screen.